Hi, Matthew from castingcross.com, and today I'm going to talk about one of the more controversial pieces of gear in fly fishing, nippers. All they're meant for is cutting line, yet they are something that people argue about simply for the fact that some of them can cost upwards of $100. And of course, people online really care about how other people online spend their money, so people argue about these things. But I'm going to talk about a few different reasons why I think a particular nipper model might be better for you if you have certain needs. Now, to be honest, a simple pair of fingernail clippers will work just fine. $2.99, no bells and whistles, not a lot of clearance to get monofilament or fluorocarbon in there and still work with accuracy. The curved mouth isn't my favorite thing to use, but a lot of people swear by them, especially guides who wanna have a pair at the ready all the time and don't mind having a pair lost or broken. Now, you're not gonna have anything that can clear head cement out of a hook eye on these, but you'll have to use something else in your tackle box or, or your fly fishing vest, but they work in a pinch. Now for way less than $10, five or $7, you can get a very simple, basic pair of nippers. These do have something to clean a hook eye out uh, attached to them, but these are not made of the, the best material. And actually I think for cutting line, cutting leader and material, you're better off using a pair of fingernail clippers than a really budget pair of nippers. For only a few more dollars, you can get a legitimate pair of fly fishing specific nippers. These are Loon's most basic nippers. They are a rubber coated handle, a heavier gauge metal from the ones that I had a minute ago. And for only about $15, you have something that's gonna work really, really well. Now, to jump from two to $15 might be incredibly offensive to somebody, but for most people, it's not. And this is going to do well for you. One of the things that you wanna see is that the jaws of this actually extend out from where you're applying pressure. So you're gonna be able to see what you're doing, which is really important when you're trying to cut off that tag end of that knot that you've just tied on your fly. You wanna get as close as possible to reduce any sort of snags or unnatural look. And so that's a great little feature that might be worth a couple dollars. But there's also specialty nippers. This is also from Loon. This is their Nip and Sip. This is uh, one of their latest models it's called the XL, and it's big. Talk about a regular pair of nippers and the Nip and Sip XL. This is a great pair if you have bigger hands or you're fishing in gloves. You can easily get a hold of it and you can apply pressure, not with kind of the one little part of your finger, but with the entirety across your finger. That might not sound like a big deal unless you're working with heavier fluorocarbon. If you're working with ciders and things like that that require heavier monofilament with a more rigid line, this is going to be able to apply the kind of pressure to do it simply and easily, and especially as your hands get colder and weather gets colder, that can be helpful. It also has a bottle opener, which doesn't hurt. Now, these are more expensive. I think it's about $35. But once again, that's talking about a couple of trips through the drive through and now you've paid for the same that you would have paid for almost with what, for the, the cheapest pair of fingernail clippers. But there are more expensive nippers that do fill a niche in your sling pack and on your vest. This is the lid rig. So I think it's about $75. And the great thing about the lid rig, it's a little bit small, but it's magnetic. And I love that because I don't like stuff making noise as I walk through the woods. So even the other nippers, as they're bouncing around and, and, and moving, they're gonna hit stuff. If they're on a zinger, they're gonna get stuck on a tree. The lid rig stays right where it's supposed to. It also, the, the little docking station has a file on that so that now you don't have to carry another piece of equipment in a hook hone. So that's right there all the time. It's designed to go on a hat, but I put it on my bag so the lid rig stays stuck to it incredibly sharp jaws uh, and it's going to spring back open because of the mechanism that it's designed with. It also has the little hook eye cleaner on it. Now there are some really premium nippers and I have to say I really like Orvis's nippers. These are uh, have a little bit more complicated mechanism in them with a spring and they have a ton of force with really sharp jaws. Now they cost close to $100 and that might seem extreme but they do have replaceable jaws I can torque through backing, I can cut through fly line with ease using these things, and they're always at the ready. I always have them attached to a zinger because of that price point. Now, is this necessary? No, but if you're somebody who already has everything, if you're looking for a gift for somebody who already has everything, then a pair of nippers like this or if one of the similar brands is an option. So we don't have to argue about who has what nippers and get offended that someone spent maybe 20 or $50 more than you. Find the pair that fits what you have best. Make sure it works. Go into a fly shop and touch them. Try them out. 
ask to use them on the kind of tippets that you like to use and see which works best for your hand. And that might be the reason why you spend five or 10 or 15 more dollars on one pair of nippers versus another. Check out more information on nippers and other pieces of fly fishing gear over at castingacross.com where there's a new article every Monday and Wednesday and a podcast on Friday.